Senior officials and uh, members of the service, services, civil service and uh, discipline services, thank you very much for uh, allowing me to come and visit you this morning. When I was asked by the DO whether I would come, I said, People get out of their way and they, they do all sorts of things to make my visit look good. And when I go back, you go back to your old tools, old buildings and you suffer some more. But for this one moment, you all sacrifice, you all come, and you want to uh, be seen with us officials and to hear us speak to you. My message to you today is not different from the message given to us by the Lulunia Swasti. said to those that were in the church at the time, do not behave, do not act, do not dress up, do not come and sit down and listen just because I am here with you. That was the message this morning from the Bible. Paul was trying to galvanize the people of Galatia at the time. They were Gentiles and converted. We were village boys and girls. We lived on the farms. We lived in settlements. Now you are civil servants. So when the heads of government come, you all dress up, you all come and sit, and you all behave. It's what you do when we're, when we're not watching that matters. That was the message from the Bible today. And I want to reiterate that to all of us. I'm sure all of you have put in your applications for 
not have put in applications for it. jobs that had been advertised in the civil service or elsewhere. There is a paragraph there that none of you misses out. And you put your name there and say, works well without supervision. Is that correct? So every time you write that in your CV when you're setting it for application uh, for a job, just retrospectively and inwardly look at yourself. Are you being truthful? If you have not been up to today, will change from now on, okay? <laughs> you must continue to work well, whether you're under supervision or not. I went to Panama two weeks ago for our Oceans Conference. And the special envoy of President Biden, Senator John Kerry, when he uh, met me, I was wearing an emblem of the Legion, Donna, Legion of Honor, one of the highest awards given by France. He saw it and he said, Legion Donna? Yes, Senator. And he just nodded. He knew what it's all for. Any personal action of supreme sacrifice, even in the face of danger, the danger of losing your life, you get that award. The night I did what I did, nobody was looking. I had to do it because it was the right thing to do. We saved a French colonel. We were under fire in Lebanon. The French colonel was shot and slumped over the wheel of his car. He couldn't move, the car stalled and stopped. I told my driver, I think he's been shot. I went, lifted up his head, and saw blood on his shirt. And I said to my driver, we have to take him to hospital. He said, sir, we are under shelling. If we don't take him to hospital and he dies, we are to blame. If on our way to hospital we all die, that's good. We just all die. But if we don't take him to hospital and he dies, we we'll spend the rest of our life regretting not taking him to hospital. So many years later, that some uh, soldiers and officers uh, told the Prime Minister of France, who was here in Fiji, to hand over these similar medals to a group of five Fiji soldiers. They were getting the Chevalier of the Order. So the French Prime Minister asked uh, these officers to put in their own statements about what happened. That went up the whole process in France, and President Jacques Chirac invited me to the palace in Paris to give me that medal or that award. The thing was that nobody was looking at us at the time. Only my driver and I knew what we did. My driver has died, <coughs> but I was a senior person involved. I get the medal, not my driver. When you do well in your department, the head of the department may get awarded with an order of Fiji, or Fiji medal. The rest of us won't. But it is your performance, it's your collective achievement that makes your leader and your commander get acknowledged. When I was awarded the OBE, 
also for leadership in Lebanon. One third major from uh, now asked me, sir, man is MBE, you should be, that's a higher class to the I got a higher class. <coughs> Yours is a better class. Yours is MBE. So when people ask you, tell them, my bloody effort. <laughs> I can't do that. I can't boast about mine. Because OBE, others bloody effort. <laughs> That's a reality, eh? Of the workplace. We all work well. The chief gets the recognition. Sometimes we individually get recognized. But most of the time, the head of the organization gets the recognition. Do not be discouraged. When you see us walking around with big medals and many medals, <coughs> no, ah, came on me, ah. Okay? <laughs> so do not be discouraged. Whether I come once every four years, or I don't come at all. Remember what Paul said to the people of Galatia at the time. Give your best, whether you've been watched or not, whether you've been twisted or not. I'm always reminded about uh, what uh, John Wesley says to his, uh, said to his uh, ministers when they graduate. Go and do all the good you can, for all the people you can, at all the times you can, in all the ways you can, for as long as you ever can. Whether it be not or not, remember, one day you write your testimonial or your, your application works well without supervision. This hospital used to be, well, it, it, it was and it is a public hospital. This was a ward. But if uh, I was in, the, in one of the beds and the DO's son came in and needed a bed, I would go to the veranda and the DO's son would come inside. And that happened uh, when uh, one night chief from Bau was walking to the condor. His son was here, and the DO's son needed a bed. <coughs> so the rocker's son had to be pushed out. The bed then had wheels, eh? Could just wheel it out to the veranda. So when the Rokotil Condor came, he saw his son out in the veranda. He was very angry. <laughs> so he called the DO to come to the provincial office in, uh, in from Somo. They kind of quit the or uh, or to run a rock. This was reported to Zuba. So it was the Secretary of Indian Affairs, Turang Talai, Rachelala Skuna, called uh, Turang Rocco Melogain. Turang Rocco went to my village and told our chief, Bulba de Manavato, the Rocco, really, have you read the Kenda Rocco Skuna? He lied. The two of them went to Suva, went to Boron House, to where they wanted at the time, and they sat there from uh, about 10 o'clock. That's going to work, went away for his uh, lunch, came back, went away at 4.30 at after work, and came back at about 6, and they were still sitting there. They were still sitting there. Lala asked uh, Roti the Kondrovi. Azabalo Mikino 
Boulevard Vivre Novato. Eu não me sangue a meter o lobo a tu mais. Não se ambula. Não vou lá e sangue a meter o lobo a tu mais. Não vou lá e sangue a meter o lobo a tu mais. Não vou lá e sangue a meter o lobo a tu mais. Jadi itu ke awam buli badem, we call him bum bum buli badem. Kerana ini adalah dia buat take away the anger of his boss, so he not be fully punished for what he had done here in Tabun. So regardless of who you are going to take. To soften your misbehavior, you know, your bad performance, you have performed badly. So you get punished or not. And you cannot ever say again truthfully on your application, this man works well without supervision. So from now on, from this day on, Remember, whether you've been watched or not, give your best all the time. The best reward is your conscience. When you feel you've done a good day's work, good day's job, that's it. No medal can supersede the satisfaction you get out of knowing that you have done well. Your best reward is, I have gotten to be where I am by my bloody effort, nobody else's. Work hard, work well, work smart, cooperate with the others. You'll have a happy workplace and great achievements. God bless you. Thank you very much.